Wow, Janelle Smith, Serena Cole, Crystal Slowly, Tina Clayton, Jura Levy, Tia Clayton, Jamaica takes one, two, three, four, five, and six at the CAS Meeting International. Plus, Munjinga Kambunji is on top. Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Go ahead, please hit the subscribe button so we can continue to grow. When you do that, please hit the notification bell so you know when the next video drops. You drop a video at least once a day here in Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, please hit that like button. And finally, leave your thoughts after this sports analysis where we take a look at and we break down the races. So, are you ready? Yeah. Good to go. Well, Switzerland's darling, the remarkable and stunning Moonjinga Kambunji became the Swiss national champion in women's 100 meters 2023. Now, this is translated, for, so some of it may not make sense. It says, congratulations to Mujinga Kambunje for winning over 100 meters at the Swiss championships in Berlin Zona. This is already her 12th title over this distance. With her running time of 11.05 seconds, she already qualifies for the Olympics in Paris next year. We are very happy for you and wish you a successful season and then it says go you fool but i'm sure that's not what they meant now you may or may not remember that munjika kambuchi did suffer an injury earlier in the season so this is a good look um and a solid time for her 11.05 uh so congratulations to Bujinga Kambunji, the Swiss na Switzerland's national champion in women's 100 meters. Now you may or may not remember that Bujinga Kambunji successfully defended her world indoor 60 meter title early this year 2023 which she also won in 2022 now jamaica's amoy brown is on a tier winning at the cas meeting international 2023 in the women's 100 meter hurdles people we can find no video of this event nothing the young jamaican who is improving consistently running in a plus 1.7 meters per second win ran a time of 12.73 to win ahead of marlon Ma marion apparently is uh who ran 12.82 to take the second spot with tally bonds of the united states coming third in 12.86 of course as i stated this is a moy brown um winning at the CAS Meeting International. Now, Amoy Brown has been on a tear. Remember, she came fourth in the women's 100 meter hurdles at the Jamaica National Trials and recently won in Luzerne, Switzerland, in the women's 100 meter hurdles, winning that event in 12.64 seconds ahead of Daniel Williams, who ran 12.68 to take the second spot. Our way. Good start from Marshall in the middle. Tanea Marshall trying to go with Danielle Williams of Jamaica. Jenna Kay having a good run in lane two as well. She stumbles, hits that hurdle very, very hard. So big congratulations to Amoy Brown looking good. Now Jamaica scored. I'm not even quite sure what to call it. We had six young ladies in one race, eight competitors, and we had we came first, second, third, fourth, fifth, <laughs> and sixth. Uh, this occurred at the CAS Meeting International 2023 over the vaunted women's 100 meters featuring some of our young rising superstars in sprint 
Now, Janelle Smith of Jamaica, the um, Olympian, came first with Serena Cole coming second. In third was Crystal Slowly, who is beginning to make a surge. Uh, Tina Clayton of Jamaica came fourth. Uh, Jura Levy came fifth. And Tia Clayton came sixth. So, as I said in number one, Janelle Smith of Jamaica ran 11.18 to win with Serena Cole coming second in 11.25. Crystal Slowly third in 11.30. Tina Clayton fourth in 11.44. Drew Levy fifth in 11.45. And Tia Clayton uh, sixth in 11.50. People, I don't even know what, what do you call this because I know I have the most knowledgeable um, group of royals who are uh, connected to this channel right what do you call this i mean six one two three four five six for jamaica in one women's 100 meter race uh that the caas um international that's a big big deal people now the last time we saw janelle smith was at the all comers meet number four where she won that ahead of natasha morris in women's 100 meters and brianna williams in that all comments run she ran 11.13 to win now this of course is my two cents people this is look look you know me i get super excited over a sweep it was a sweep what do you call this a double sweep what do you call well, when one country in one race eight competitors win have we come first second third fourth fifth and sixth all right and i know some of you are going to complain about the time but you know what I don't care we came first second third fourth fifth and sixth jamaica had six places one two three four five and six in one 100 meter race with eight competitors i don't know about you but i i think that's remarkably um impressive and yes the times when there was no sub 11 but i i am i am super excited all right yeah only know me stay when it come to them something there i'm very very excited uh now i could not find a video to this if i do find a video i will eventually share it but video are not people wow <laughs> one race eight competitors jamaica comes first second third fourth fifth and sixth i mean come on people come on if you are not excited about that you are not a yardy you are not a jamaican come on people yes i know there was no 10 point 10.70 10, but come on people first second third fourth and fifth in one race this is at the cas meeting international uh over the weekend uh 2023 and i'm just super excited you hear the excitement in my, in my voice and um so kudos and congratulations to the ladies uh big up to you janelle smith seems to be rounding into form people um crystal slowly what do you think about that she's doing really really well now uh again and um and serena cole uh look listen i'm just excited i'm so excited and i just can't hide it i know i know i know <laughs> yes people anyway and um you know big up to amari brown looking good she's rounding into form um we we hope to see her hit a sub uh 12.550 that would be make her really competitive but this is a good look for amoy bro congratulations to her and big up to bujinga kambunji seemingly to re recovering from injury now this of course is my two cents now don't forget to hit the subscribe button hit no channel, hit the like but remember your royals kings and queens bless up